Charles Macro. 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 What's up, everybody? Charles Macro here today back again, jumping into Imperion Galactic Survival. Shout out and salute to all my Imperionatics. <laughs> Hope all is well, man. Hope all is well and we're enjoying our experience, all right? So, Alpha Experimental 9.2 has just dropped and they're releasing it, or they say this represents part two of the stabilizing, optimization, and bug fixing update for Alpha 9. Shout out to Elion for continuing to work hard to build and to grow the game and to add to it. Like, they have been going so hard the end of the year and uh even in the beginning of the year uh, and as the, the year winded down so shout out to them and thank you for all they're doing to help grow this game i know everybody's not happy with alpha 9 and it's a big adjustment it's a big change uh one of the biggest changes since alpha 7 so um you know i'm being patient with them it's not perfect but they're doing everything they can to balance it and to do what we're asking as the players and as the community man so Shout out to them for that, man. Give them time, man. Give them time to make adjustments, man. I know they're going to get it right, I believe. All right? So, one of the first things they've done um, is some of the additions. They added Talon Crossbow to NPC for ranged attacks. I like this because it's giving more personality and diversity to the Talon. You already see it in the way that they define the look of uh, some of the actual NPCs, the, the villagers, the tribes, persons, the leaders, and the traders, um, and even the uh, the warriors, as you want to call them, or their their army. So this is just adding more personalization, more personability, um, and individuality to the players. And I like that. That really puts us in the its own world and that feeling of the game, man. Um, it says the Talon Crossbow NPC is already added to groups that patrol on terrain around POIs and as a Sentinel in POI. So it replaces the old Green Sentinel. So I really like that, man. Really liking the look of the crossbow. Uh, this is the Talon Ballista Turret. So they're making them feel, like I said, a more tribal people than, say, a Polaris, you know, or the Xerox, which will make their technology seem a little bit less advanced in look, but they're still a formidable foe. So I, I like that, I like that. Oh, and guys, let me know if you're gonna restart. Um, I know at some point, now that we went to 9.2 in this experimental, I'm gonna try to continue to play my series, um, but I am gonna restart, because there's also something I saw later in the update that I wanna do with a restart. But let me know what you're gonna do and what you suggest. It says, please note that the Ballista turret is not yet added to the talent POIs. We need help from our awesome building community to upgrade the talent POIs with this turret. Um, they can also add separate defense structures as for Polaris. The Ballista turrets needs a base with power. Okay, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Now they also added filler blocks. So this is a filler block update. It added new functionality to, or of the filler block. And now let's look at this. So we see this uh, POI, then we scroll down. So now you can use them for making POIs with basements or POIs that have large underground part and small part above the terrain. Now, I build, but I am not a master builder. So some of y'all hit me in the comments and kind of explain it because I don't totally understand how this works. I've built POIs and I built underground areas, basements. And I know that one of the issues or the flaws was when you blueprint it in, trying to get it, you know, placed right and buried correctly and then not having to dig out everything so is this something that is going to eliminate the digging process like I, i'm not sure what will make the this different as it relates to the filler blocks and the like i said the functionality and making a basement so what's the difference what does this help uh y'all let me know what you think about that in the comments and as you experiment let us know as well what the benefit of this is as opposed to the traditional way we've been building. Um, they done a logistics update. Eh, I won't go through all of these. Let me see what are the most pertinent. Okay, setup is retained separately for F and F4 modes. Display message when trying to put something in the connected toolbar, but the connected container is full. Okay. Do not use output container as source for construction. Ah, okay, gonna change that. Okay, you can read through most of these. Um, it is functional or cosmetic type of fixes. You can check those out. 
Okay, now the HUD marker update implemented HUD distance property for POIs to reduce cluttering of HUD with many objects, e.g. the Polaris and Talib settlements. Now that these settlements have so much going on, it says see error starter and temper starter. And once again, I gotta see this in execution. It said example group name tribal village properties, key map distance, value O, key HUD distance. Some of you guys that have a better understanding of uh, generating your worlds and, and generating planets. Um, you can explain that. Hit me in the comments, let me know what is up with that. It says tribal village will not be discovered and not marked on the map via POI, but will be visible on HUD at up to 100 M's. Okay, okay, hey. NPC faction update, warning that reputation will change when opening a box is now in red. Okay, pick up of plants from growing plots is now handled like container looting, resulting in instant rep standing change. Okay, so now if we pluck their plants, it's gonna be like the looting issue. Instant rep standing change. Now, how bad is that rep standing? Hey. I think that going to, to neutral or going to um what the one below neutral that's like a negative standing, I think that's too much. Especially if all you did was, you know, shoot a, a, a door or a block. You know, basically the equivalent of knocking over or spilling a drink, it knocks you to this like hated status this is just above hostile i think they're extreme they need to work that out okay they have some ai updates with the pangolin alien bug too okay they re-added temperate swamp now this is one of the things i'm interested in because as we know i've seen uh people i've seen some spans do an arid restart um i did an arid start in the past as well i want to do this temperate swamp start and uh i try to be a tough guy in real life haha <laughs> yeah nerd but this game be having me freaking out, <laughs> you know? So if I start in that swamp planet, it's like, yo, I don't know how I'm gonna be acting in game, creeping around. Whew, yeah, I can only imagine. So I'm looking forward to doing that and what that'll add to a series. Um, they also added tribal deco to stilt village POIs, okay. Activated small constructor and survival, unlock level three and updated model, okay. Fridge blocks, they added armor, locker, clone chamber, small construction templates, increase, unlock level of large constructors to level five. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Especially with the early game being a little more elongated and uh, added difficulty. Okay, they added new texture for the container extensions. Okay, rebalance shotgun against trees. That's an interesting one right there. Rebalance the shotgun against the trees. As we know, we could just knock off trees instantly with a shotgun. So it's obviously gonna take more shots, but I'm interested to see how many shots. The map view shows pose as no yellow build area as well. Okay. Mod interfaces, corrected values for cores. Okay, okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now this is interesting. POI update. Updated artifacts POI. Added creatures to defend loot. So as we know, when we first started and went to save the unknown helix and it had those loot boxes up there and they were rare loot, rare cargo boxes. And we, yo, the stuff I got out of that, I just discovered in my next video I'm gonna be showing where I threw things into the uh, blueprint factory. Those XL thrusters and things of that nature, yo, man, so much rare uh, resources like uh, Zascosium, Aristrium, uh, Sathium, you know, our main ones, and all of the rare resources, I was getting like hundreds of them. So that is important that they are putting creatures to defend that loot. It's not gonna be just as easy to go up in there and get those from those updated artifacts. That's cool. Um, They updated trading stations, assigned container, fridge to constructor, food processor where available and other fixes. Okay, and then there are many other bug fixes. You can look those over as well. Won't go over those, but uh, glad that they're continuing to squash bugs so again i may do a restart may not don't know uh let me know what you're gonna do in the comments we're gonna go ahead and do that fresh restart um because i don't want to have to like i say redo everything and catch back up but i will if i must if we're getting a lot of quit or continue errors guys all right so that is a good look at some of the new new uh, in alpha experimental 9.2 once again, I'm interested to see how this works. Uh, let me know if you have an understanding. And if not, come back in this video or in later videos and um, drop some input on how these filler blocks work and what the benefits are to using them um, with basement wise and things of that nature in comparison to how things were before, all right? Oh, and guys, if you play multiplayer and you have footage, let me know. Hit me in the comment box. Let me know if you have any battle footage 
MP battles, you know, war type footage with multiple vessels shooting at each other. I'm working on the video for my song. Yeah, let me know if you have some footage that you would like uh, to use or that I can use in the video, man. Um, it, it, the song is epic, and I want to make an epic video around it using our footage, using real footage. All right, guys. Charles Macro, Imperion Galactic Survival, Alpha Experimental 9.2. Thank you for stopping through, and I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace. Charles Macro. 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 <laughs>